So today we're gonna be doing this really cute dog paw. I'm gonna be using these colors today. Um, number one is Deco Art Americana Snow White. And then for the number two, I have Light Pink in Craft Smart. And then for number three, I have Coral Reef in the brand Smart Craft Smart. Number four is Tropical Rain in Craft Smart, and the specific one is a multi surface. Number five is this um, Sailing Sky in Craft Smart brand. And then number six is just Silver in Craft Smart. <clears throat> also, um, if you don't have the exact tools um, and when I go in the class and I say yellow stick or whatever, most kits that you buy on Amazon and stuff are like clear and they don't have color coded. We color coded these ourselves. So if you look at the ones that you buy off of Amazon or wherever you buy your um, dotting tools. So they usually come in eight sticks and we usually don't use the the very two large ones we usually just take these two out because they're too big for anything um, and we're left with these so if you're doing this at home and you don't have the dotting tools color-coded you can just um, lay them out from smallest to biggest um, taking away those first two large ones and you can follow along that way or here's our little color code so we have green blue white yellow pink and black so you can just use this to follow along and yeah let's let's get started so we're going to start with the white stick with paint color number one. And we're going to put it right on that middle dot in the middle of the, the palm, I guess. Okay, next step, we're going to use the pink twirly. with the smaller end with paint color five. And we be wiping off after Yes, yes. Okay. So you're gonna place one dot and then you're gonna place a dot right across from it. Do dip your Yes, you wanna re-dip into your paint each time unless we're walking the dots when we want the dots to get smaller on purpose. Pink and the small end. Pink yes. Number five. And then you're going to try and find the middle of these two and put it to the side like that. And then across from that one. So you get these four like north, south, east, west. After you have these four dots, we're going to dip in with the same color and same size. And we're going to do just one in between those. Okay, so next step, we're gonna use the little black stick with paint color three. And we're gonna put a dot like in between, but above the smaller ones. Yes. Okay, next step, we're gonna use the white twirly. The bigger end, and we're also gonna need the yellow twirly. Okay, so white twirly, bigger end, and we're gonna use paint color four. 
gonna put a dot in between those ones like that. And then we're gonna use the yellow twirly and we're gonna make a teardrop down. Yes, with the smaller end. So bigger end, white twirly to place the dot and then yellow twirly, smaller end to drag it down. And it's color number four. Yes. Okay, next step, we're gonna use the little black stick again with paint color number six. And we're gonna put it right on top of those teardrops we just did. Six. Okay, next step, we're gonna use the pink twirly and the yellow twirly. So pink twirly, smaller end, paint color number two. We're gonna put a dot above the silver ones like that. Then we're gonna switch to the yellow twirly, smaller end, and we're gonna walk the dots around. Next step, we're going to do, yeah, we're going to use the pink twirly smaller end with paint color five. And we're going to walk the dots again. So you're going to place one dot, re-dip, and then go around halfway. Yeah, and we're using the same tool the whole time. Yes. And that was number five. Five. Number five. Next step, we're gonna use the pink twirly, the bigger end, sorry, smaller end with paint color three. And we're gonna start in between the first and second dot of the walking the dots. And we're gonna swoosh down.
Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly bigger end with paint color four. I'm sorry, smaller end again. Paint color four, and we're gonna start here in the middle and then swish up. <laughs> start at the same spot and then swish up again like that. And we're going to put a small dot right there in the middle of the swishes. So next step, we're going to use the blue twirly bigger end with paint color number one. And we're gonna put the dot right there. Okay, so next step, <clears throat> we're gonna take the pink twirly smaller end with paint color one. And what we're going to do is you're going to start here next to that big white dot we just did. And you're going to dot, dot, dot to this silver one. Just dipping once? Yes. And then the same thing from the other side. Like that. Okay. Should we be trying to keep in within that circle, going at that angle? Yes. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the yellow stick. We're gonna use paint color number two. And we're gonna go to that middle dot and overlap it. We're gonna go to this middle dot and overlap it with some pink, but not completely to where you don't see the white. You should still see like a sliver of white. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly. Bigger end with pink color two, and we're gonna do it to these dots in between our teardrops. Just overlapping, but still leaving a little sliver of the original color. A little bit. Okay, next step, we're gonna use the pink stick. And we're gonna use paint colors two, three, four, and five. Except one and six. So what we're gonna do, like this one, is we're just gonna place a whole bunch of random dots in this excess area that we haven't filled up with the mandala. So, so you're just gonna 
Pink stick. So you're just going to place a couple blues here and there, and then you'll switch to number three or whatever colors. With the same depth. Yes, three, yes. Four, just filling up five. as much as you can. Oh, we're filling the whole pop. Yes, yes, the whole pop pad. Well, this is. Yeah, just. <laughs> And don't worry if you have spaces in between because later we'll go in with a smaller stick to fill those in. Okay, so next step, we're gonna take the little black stick. And you're just gonna fill in any bigger gaps that you have. With the same colors? With the same colors, yeah. Oh, all the different colors? Yes. Okay, next step, we're going to use the white twirly, and you'll decide if you need the bigger end or the smaller end, depending on how big of gaps you have left, and you're just going to fill those up too with the colors. Yes. Okay, so we're going to use the pink twirly, smaller end, with the white paint, or paint color one. Smaller Yes, yeah, smaller end. And you're going to go in between and fill in all your super tiny gaps with the white paint. <clears throat> and then when you... <clears throat> and then when you come to the edges... You're gonna fill in those like gaps to give it more of a flush border look. Oh. Kind of, yeah.
So now we're gonna do the same things, same thing to the paws, like we did over here. We're just gonna do a whole bunch of random dots with the colors. So we're gonna use the pink stick and using paint colors two, three, four, and five. And you're just gonna go around and make a whole bunch of random dots in the oh, it's little toes. The you recommend one at a time or should we go all the way? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so next step, you're gonna use the white twirly. It doesn't matter what size, bigger, smaller, depending on the size gaps you have, and then you're gonna fill those up too. Same colors, Same colors yes.
So next step, you're going to take the pink twirling, smaller end, with white paint, and you're just going to fill in those tiny gaps. And then also giving it that in uh, that kind of like a border. I'm going to go in between the dots.